What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Well last time we was working on this building right here which is our power plant because we was working on our blenders. Where we went through this room and I showed you step by step on how we built it and how we did the lighting and all that kind of cool stuff. But as stated at the end of the video we wanted to kind of get that production up and running but we don't have the water to support it. That's where today's episode comes in. And this space because we need to turn this into what we've done on the other side of the factory which looks like this where we're going to bring in our bottled water, which gets unpackaged in these unpackages, and then goes underground into some buffers, which then goes into the blenders and anything that requires water. And of course, all that water is going to come from our bottled water facility, which means we're going to extend onto the end of this building here because we need more trains, and we're going to need more storage, we're going to need more conveyor belts, and more, where, well, bottled water. And then we're going to ship all that over into the Spire Coast, to then get the production up and running. So we've got quite a bit to do, but also we hit the object limit. But I'll talk about that later on. So the first thing we need to do, I am back at obviously the Spire Coast at the fuel plant, is start bringing out the bottled water that's going to be coming from these blue stations here. And then also we've got the grey ones down here. I've colour coded these just so you can visibly see which is going to be empty canister, which is going to be bottled water. And then we need to ship them out of here via conveyor belts, of course, and then put them into our machines. So we need to make a bit more room and then I need to put some machines down right about here. And just like that, I've added them. So we've got one conveyor belt coming out here, which is 780, which then comes down here into the input of uh, five uh, unpackages, which of course, if we put the recipe inside of here, we can see 120 uh, water packages. Water packages, it bottled water, bloody hell bits. Bottle 120 bottled water goes into here, times that by five is obviously 600. So that's going to fill one Mark II pipe. And then the empty canisters come out, back around, goes underneath here. Obviously, there's a bit of conveyor management here and then gone down into this line, which comes down here and then goes back into uh, the train station, where it then go back to the water plant to bring some more and fill up well, more water bottles. So in total, we have six... Uh, Mark II lines bringing in 600 Mark... Uh, Mark... Bloody hell. Blah, 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 blah. So what that means altogether is we have six Mark II lines which are all being uh, sent down towards the train side which I think is the wrong way actually. I actually built this the wrong way. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure that on the other side over there then pipes was on that side. And that would be a yes. As you can see, these pipes down here are actually going to the opposite side of the train station. Yeah, so I've done the pipes the bloody wrong way. Which means now I need to start deleting all of these, flipping, spinning them around and reversing them. And then sending them the correct way because I'm a spoon. And you know this. But before I finish that off, I've already kind of done a bit of a layout here just so I can understand where the next storage containers will go. Obviously, it's flipped, but I've lined that one up with that one there. So then I can start adding the train station here, which will be a duplicate of that side, which will add the other water packages here, getting ready uh, to go into, well, the blenders and the refineries. And we're definitely going to have excess water for sure. And bada bing, bada bosh, I fixed the pipes, but then I've also duplicated what we've done there on this left-hand side with six more lines of, well, Mark II water pipes and unpackages and a train station and all that kind of stuff. But there's one thing I do need to go over in a second because transporting water from one side of the world to the other side is not as easy as you think. Yeah, you just put it into a train and send it back. But if you want to optimize it to make sure that you don't have any problems with your lines, like I do all the time, there's a way we have to do it. And what that is, and the easiest way to probably visualize it for you guys as well it is for me, because this is the way I like to do it. So for example, what we're going to do is we're going to paint this station red. So that means this is station red. So this is outputting bottled water. So we've got to follow this line and we have to make sure that the empty canisters that get unpackaged to it come back into the, this exact same line eventually so we've got to follow this belt along this thing goes into the input which is here so the output of the canisters are this side which are underneath here which i've not done the belt for it so let me just grab that place that along there place you into eh. There, remove that because clipping, moving objects, rule of thumb. And then, so this is still red. So if we follow this along, it then goes underground, comes up at this lift right here, then moves down here, and then it'll come down all the way into this canister right here. So then what I've got to do is I've got to paint this one red. So this is red. So red output of bottles and red input of canisters. 
And then we have to follow the train line all the way down my beautiful highway, which then takes us to the water bottling facility where I've already added the next train station, which is this one right here. As you can tell, I've already got a train waiting in there just so I can prep it. But then what we need to do on this side is if you remember, the empty canisters will be coming on the second one of the gray, so it will be this one. So this is where the red canisters will come out of. I'm calling them red canisters because it's red station, right? And then we need to follow them canisters and make sure that they fill the water bottles that are going to go into the red station on that end. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we have to do that for every single one of these stations. So I do this red, I do this blue, do this orange, pink, white and black. That's the color coordination I've done. And then I have to go and follow each one of them lines to make sure that each bottle that gets sent the canister comes back and gets recycled back onto that same line otherwise you might have a problem because say for example this is red line but you accidentally sent it onto the blue line here that means the blue line will fill up so then that means the blue line has a correct uh, incorrect line somewhere which then that might go to pink line and everything starts backing up until one line doesn't have somewhere to go because you've effed up somewhere so that means everything will back up so as long as you're you know sending them to the correct direction you'll be fine. So all I've done at this station down here is I've added, new, I've added two new stations. Uh, was it two new stations? No, I need to add another station because this is water plant three. So we have four stations up there all together, two on the left, two on the right. The two on the left is by these ones here. And then we have plant three and then plant four. So all I need to do is grab this and then how, what's the distance I've got between here? It's literally like a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. So if I just line that up there, and I'm going to guess it's going to be in the middle of this foundation right there, which should give us... Nope. I need to push it along a bit further. It's in the middle of this foundation, which that's right. And then all I need to do is just add 12 stations. So... No, that's just... No, wrong way bits. That one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did I do one too short? I did. And then... As you know, because we're bringing the canisters back. One, two, three, four, five, six is for empty canisters. And then one, two, three, four, five, six is for bottled water. And then obviously the train station at the end. And then we just need to make sure that we put the storages on this end. So industrial storage. It's going to be an output, so we'll go into here. And then, just like I explained in my train guide multiple times, always utilize both outputs, otherwise you're going to have a problem. Because if this um, is empty, and you're only bringing in one more, to, well, whatever belt you're using into the storage, and you have one belt going out to your factory, when a train pulls up here and starts unloading or loading whatever order you've got it in, um, these lines will stop. So the, this station will stop outputting items. So always put two here and then one one out. So that means that this buffer will actually fill. And then when that train is actually doing its job in there, or unloading the loading, it will start utilizing the resources from the storage so that line can keep going. Otherwise, if you have to one-to-one, -one, what's the point of this storage being here, right? You might as well just put it straight from a line from the uh, station. Right, so I've added the storage on that train station that we just built, and I've done the um, the lifts that are going to go underneath. Um, so I've not done the underflooring just yet, because like I said, we need to make sure that we match the output of water bottles to, for the return of them water bottles to the correct station. Um, but I've also been extending the roof a little bit. And then also on the front, I want to kind of go over a little bit of a design as well. So come to realize it, I think this is a little bit too far forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this wall and I'm going to bring it up to this one. So it kind of like attaches to this slot, which basically connect, connects to that building. And we know that we're going to need pillars going down the side of the, the track here, because I do want to add some doors into here, which will need to be double doors. So so that's the train line. So we're going to put you to the, you to the grab a surface of doors, put them down then to there, then double them up as well, just like that. And then I want to make sure we've got the wind. Did I put windows? Do I put windows? I don't know. So I'm going to zoop that up. I'm going to put that there like this. And then actually let's remove these like this and just create a little bit of depth with the wall by going into architecture and grabbing the big metal pillars and putting that like this, like that maybe. I'm going to do that on either side and then I'll do a wall. So a gap, then a wall maybe like that. But then I'm also going to get the double ramp foundations and then snap that to there, there and 
there like this and then i think i'm going to fill this with windows as well so i'm gonna grab ourselves a barrier place that in the middle grab the window and then zoop that all the way to the diddly top like so and then same on this side and then it kind of looks like that and then we just need to attach the train station back up well the train station the train line hello oh there's a window there <laughs> I forgot to remove the window from the door. Okay, then grab the station. The, 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 the train line. Jesus, bits. And then bring that in. I'm going to make sure I put the signal behind the door here. So we're going to grab that and I'm going to place that on the opposite side, Bitsy. There. And remove that one. We don't need that one. And then I think that's all right and then it's just a matter of doing that all the way across uh and it kind of keeps in unity with that building as well that's got a little bit of a different design but it kind of works but then i need to look into doing lights in here at some point but i don't know what it's going to look like here yet but i'm also gonna i think trim some of the ground here so we're gonna like skip some of this off and then what i'm gonna do is make it look like they're coming across a bridge maybe so just like this and then do what we normally do, which is grab ourselves a, da, 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 a beam. Place that down there. I'm going to place one on the opposite side as well. I'm going to grab ourselves a pillar. We'll get the smaller version. Take that across here all the way up until the door. Until it goes into the door, we could actually do. It goes through there. Connect up to this one. I'm going to remove that signal as well. Because that signal does not need to be there. Too many signals close together is going to cause you a problem. And if you need to know more about signals, I've definitely got a guide on that as well. Um, I highly recommend going to check that out. But just, just for clarification, there is a bug in update 8 right now. As of the 13th of the 9th. Where train tracks are not highlighting when you grab a signal. So for all those that are thinking I'm using a mod, it's not a mod. <laughs> it's a bug within update 8 right now. So when you normally get a signal, the track usually highlights the color, but it's not right now. So that's the problem. Okay. So now I just need to reread this because this was kind of like, I was playing around with it just to see if it will work. Uh, and now we found out it doesn't. So we remove be gone and then what i'm going to do as well is i want to look at changing this up to path signals as well so these signals here for example this one i don't want too many blocks here i definitely want some passive because for example if this train here is coming along here and he's going to turn into that one and then there's a train coming out over there he's, he's, he's going to stop so i'm probably going to do path signals along here as well so i can go on be gone before i before I bloody mess the whole thing up and next minute there's a crash. Oh my god, why is there so many trains in a line? Where are you going now? I always like to make sure that my trains are spaced out one side of the map and the other side of the map. Oh my god, you've, you're you literally touching bum cheeks with that other one. Oh no, you're not. You've gone into it. Oh, never mind. There's three different trains on three different lines. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Right, so the next thing I want to look at doing is I want to basically extend the foundation here and start putting down some water packages because obviously this train line and this train line need to receive bottled water. And the problem is, well, I've got right now, I don't have enough space at the side of the ones we've already built to bring in a new line. And yeah, I could bring it on top, but then I foresee that we're going to have a lot of lot of drones because we need to ship a lot of water to the nuclear plant later down the line. So I need as much room as I can and make sure that we can utilize space as the best as we can. But like one of the other reasons we can't add them here as well, because we manage everything underneath the ground, especially on this side, it's starting to get a little crazy. Uh, the middle's all right, but this is not. And all of these are going to these two stations on the end. So I've made the decision to build a separate water bottling plant kind of to the side of these stations here more precisely this right here where, where you can kind of see that train and then coming towards us and after some time later i've now added the two sections each block is for each individual train station which is going to be sending six lines of 780 bottled water but also finally i've made a blueprint for all the water packages yes i made a bloody blueprint after many many months because the last blueprint we made was actually the highway and uh oh boy does that need an upgrade as well because obviously we've worked on this bottom layer now and things have got a lot more crazier and a bit more busier i don't even know if that was an english sentence right there but also just as stated before as you can see i have color coded all of these stations so we can see red orange pink blue black and white um so what i need to do now is make sure that these bottled water 
Uh, well, actually, no. We want to go from... Wait, which way do we want to go from? Yeah, we want to go from the bottled water intake. So this right here is red line. So that means if we go underground here, this uh, belt that we need to put down has to go into the red over here. But these colors are only flipped right now. These might not be the final colors where they, you know, they need to go because they might get flipped due to belts crossing over or anything like that underneath the foundation. But as you can see as well, I've also done a uh, kind of... Well, the rest of the front bit off. And I've added these foundations across the middle here. Just kind of... Thanks, train. Thanks a lot. Are you finished yet? No? Okay. I'll just wait for you. I've, I've got a job to do here, you know. I'm trying to make a video. Any time now? There we go. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> but as I was saying, I've finished off the front of the station now. And um, it, it kind of looks right. I do want to add some lights to it at some point. And obviously, I'm not going to add any structural support yet. Because if I build structural support, I don't know if I'm going to have to remove it again later. Because I'm going to build underneath. Hence the reason you never see me without any structural support until the building's finished. And obviously, I've done the bridges as well. And I've kind of extended these pillars that we did uh, on the side of here. Just to kind of bring this down and kind of make it more unified. But yeah, as I was saying, I have got a blueprint for all of this. So like four times water packages. I've got this now. And I've also got the other ones for like one one line of water packages and then i've also got another one which is the right side if i'm doing a manifold line and i need to go to the left right or left side and then we've also got the right side small so this is kind of on the end because if you're going to be doing a 780 uh bottled water line you're going to need 13 packages in total and obviously four four, four times three is 12 so we need to do uh four times two and then we need to add on the uh, the additional ones on the end um, so I will be doing a separate video on the whole blueprint of this in case, and I'll be releasing it to you guys as well, uh, in case you want to use it. Uh, but just take into mind as well that it won't be for unpackaging. It's only for packaging because obviously the pipes are on the input uh, and not on the output. So you could use it for outputting. You just have to readjust the pipes and all that stuff. But at least you'll have a blueprint to go off in case you do amend it. But I will make an unpackaging one as well, eventually. And when I mean eventually, it could take a year. Who knows? So after many, 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 many hours in the live stream, doing all these belts, making sure that they go in the correct ports. Like I said, uh, all the colors are down here. So we can see that this output is red. So the red one is going to make its way along this belt right here. And then it's going to go all the way down into this one. I've just painted this one blue. I should have left it red for you guys to see. <laughs> but anyway, on the other side, it does come back on the red location in here. So hence the reason why this one's red. So that means them bottles are going to that over there, coming back into this station right here. And then it's because obviously the belt kerfuffling and moving around and stacking and all that stuff. Then that goes back into the red line, which is this input right here. And that means that whenever the blenders and stuff consume the water over there, you know, the bottles and empty canisters work in cohesion with each other so i'm not gonna lie this is definitely the more annoying thing about doing the build that we've done but it's the most satisfying once it's complete because the whole logistical network of transporting a to b and then b back to a and then making sure the throughput is fine as well Hence the reason we're sending 780 bottles of water, which is 780 bottles of water uh, per minute, but that's obviously without throughput. But on the other end, we only need to consume 600. Hence why we've got 180 bottled water as a leeway for the, uh, the travel time for the train to get from A to B. So on the other end, the actual bottles will actually kind of be stuttering and, are, and then the um, empty canisters will be coming back at 600 per minute on a 780 line, so there will be gaps as well. But also, I found something else out I didn't know about the game. So, which was, I was filling these up with empty canisters so I can kind of get the lines pulled in. But then we finally did it. We hit the bloody object limit. So through the live stream, I had about four to five crashes and I thought it was a bug to do with something. And then I found out when I just read it a little bit, we exceeded the object limit. And that was because um, I didn't realize when items are on a belt or in your machines, they all class as an object as well, not just your buildings. <laughs> so we have a lot of bottled water here and canisters. And all of that is kind of like totaling up our object limit as well which i didn't know i i thought it was just build stuff but it's apparently something to do with memory and all that stuff so uh yeah so how i fixed this was i pressed the windows and r key 
this run box come up i typed in percentage local app data percentage clicked ok scroll down looked for factory game open the save folder went into config if you're on update 7 go to the windows no editor if you're on update 8 go to the windows go into whichever one you're using and then go into the engine file which is the engine configuration settings and then you're going to want to go to the bottom and just paste this right here it will be in the description below if you want to increase your object limit however disclaimer make sure you back up your save folder when doing this because you don't want to ruin your whole thing but if you want to increase the object limit add this right here i'll put this whole command in the description in the video of where to find your file and also this whole section here which you just need to copy and paste into this file and then five click file and then save done bob's your uncle and then that's it you're done you can then increase your object limit okay i'm not going to lie to you i redid that whole section about four or five times so now it means we can continue building our factory it does mean we might end up with a crash randomly at some point due to this but it's better than not being able to play the game or ripping stuff st some stuff down which i do initially need to dump some stuff and remove stuff because we do have some factories in this save that we're not using anymore well we are using but they're not going to be needed because we're building them bigger somewhere else and there we have it now we've got all the bottled water i'm i need to say this correctly because a lot of you in the comments are going bottled water bottled water <laughs> every time why did a british guy with a strong northern accent have to do bottled water where all you flipping americans <laughs> keep taking the piss out of me <laughs> You bastards. But anyway, as you can see, I've got loads of bottle canisters right here. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I've lost it. I've lost. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, as I was saying, all right, bits, compose yourself. Compose yourself. <laughs> so I've got loads of bottles of water right here. Oh my God, I've never used my lips so much when I said that. Um, and then they will all go into here. Obviously, it's not going to go anywhere right now because we've not done the storage. Uh, however, I do need to do the pipe work down here. As you can see, we have put them into uh, the buffers, but the buffers are not sending anything elsewhere. And if I'm not mistaken, these aren't really going to get used just because of the amount of water we've got over here and some over here. And you can see all the pipe work we needed to do for the blenders on the other side of the factory, which was, it's, it's not much. This can actually be removed. So ignore these valves and stuff. Uh, I'm going to make this a lot more simpler for sure. But just like I said in the last episode as well, when it comes to vertical liquid movement and all that stuff, make sure you put your lifts, your head lifts, uh, pumps and all that kind of stuff uh, on the horizontal bits. Put these on the um, horizontal bits. I'm not talking to myself, but uh, whatever. Um, the pumps are on the horizontal parts of the pipes, and uh, you should be uh, you should be fine. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully all is good. I just need to kind of do what I've done over here on this side, and then put any excess water pipes I'm not using, and start bringing them together in this location right here, in case we need to use them in the future. Okay, so after figuring around with pipes, you can see there's a lot of red ones. And these red ones are pipes that are full of 600 water each that is not being consumed. So it's safe to say I've sent more water than I needed to. But it's better to send more than less, right? Right? Well, yeah, as I said, just make sure you put your, you know, your pumps on the horizontal piece. Because you don't want to put them on the vertical because sometimes, and what I think the problem is, uh, it's working perfectly fine for me. I'm going to show you in a minute the fluid side of things, uh, the well, the, the fuel gen side of things. Is if you put one of these on here, sometimes the water doesn't seem to want to come up this little bit here, which causes a problem, and the water then comes back down again, which forces liquid that direction or that direction, wherever it's coming from, which stops a little bit of flow. So I feel like that is one of the major problems with it. Um, so doing this, I've never had, you know a problem with fluid the way it is but there is an, a, a bug in update 8 right now where for example this pipe is full but this one could be empty uh, and all i need to do is just reattach that pipe that is something that i've seen and had a lot of myself whilst working on this whole plant so the only reason i've color coded them is just like kind of like you know a red light is basically they're not being they're not in use and it's the same with the buffers so that buffer's not being consumed that's so i can look up here and we can see there's a lot of lines bottled water lines that aren't moving because they're not being consumed over here however we've got a little bit of movement going on and like i said these lines will not fill to 780 because we're only unpackaging 
and a total of 600 just due to the uh, Mark II pipe size. However, if we head over to our power plant, we can kind of see all of these have been overclocked by 200%. So originally we should be putting down double what we have um but all of this is now slowly making its way through so these are done um these are done as well so there should be no red lights and yellow lights over here but if we go over to the middle ones there should be because the fuel is slowly pushing through now uh which it is as you can see right here so all i need to do is just leave that for a little bit and it'll be fixed because I already know there's not a problem with it because I've gone over and over it on the, the Twitch streams and we double checked it. And this save that I'm in right now is a couple of hours behind the actual save, if that makes sense. So I know all this is good. Uh, so if you did see a red light, a red or orange light in the distance, it won't be there in a couple of hours time or in another save, if that makes sense. Because I pre-cook these saves, if that makes sense. If you know, if you've seen the live streams, you'll understand. And speaking of live streams, I am doing a marathon stream right now over on Twitch. And I'm currently on day number 13. So I'm recording these up uh, with live. And, uh, you know, you can watch me build these and record these and see all the mistakes of me, what I do and be a spoon in all of these. So it's a fun time for sure. Um, chat's probably just laughing all the time at me being an idiot. Uh, but yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. I just had a frog in my throat. <laughs> Even if it's just a bloody emoji. Mistakes happen. Nobody is perfect except me. <laughs> That's bad. That's just bull. I can smell bull poop from here. And it's not these. So now that I've done this, we have got quite a bit of power. So if we quickly check, we should have around 140,000. But I don't know if this bit that I've have loaded is going to have the 140,000. Uh, let me just quickly check. Let me grab it from the bottom here. We're currently on 137,000. Yeah, so there's a couple of machines that aren't running there or are still waiting for the fuel to get pushed through. Uh, but we're on 140,000 megawatts. Uh, obviously, minus 69,000. <laughs> yes, 69,000. Because that's what that power plant over in the... What's it called? Golden Coast is using, right? Making. So, um, yeah. So I, I'm more than likely going to leave this right here for where it is now. Um, and then in the next few episodes, I think we're going to work on a new, another project. Oh, but I did uh, bring the resin in now. The resin is now going into these refineries. I totally forgot about that. So the resin's going into here. Um, and then every six machine, it's overclocked to 166.66%. 66 66%, which is one, two, three, four, five, six which is this one. So this one should be, yeah. Um, that is because it's taking in 100 uh, because each line is making uh, 400 of resin from the refineries from inside. So 400 resin, 400 resin, 800 in total, 400 into six, and then the other 400 into six. Then one of them are, is making 100, the other is making 300 because they obviously take six each. You can do the maths on that, six times five. Um, anyway, yeah, so with that being done, I think we're gonna call that there. So check out my other content right here. Um, and uh, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up uh, i'm gonna get the blueprint video out possibly by saturday fingers crossed by saturday if not it'll be sunday uh so you can download that yourself and utilize it, it might not be a big video it might be just a shorter video but it's there for your faces so thank you so much for watching keep smiling and i'll see you in another video